Hey, good afternoon, more medic one. Today I've got a little golf cart on the bench. I uh, didn't go through the process of replacing the carburetor, but I want to show you the old carburetor. Uh, this one runs good now after a new one, and I put new fuel filters. Here's the old carburetor, and keep in mind that, uh, you know, I, I keep these up pretty good. I uh, do tune-ups on them every 100 hours or so, but this one has been sitting up since last football season. Football season is fixing to start back up here for the, the stadiums that I go to. But I just wanted to show you, I took the bowl nut off, and this thing was running last year. Look at all that jelly. That's kind of like the consistency of uh, petroleum jelly. Let me see if I can wipe it. Get some on my finger here. This is what the ethanol is doing. It creates this jelly-like substance and then it clogs up all the jets and whatnot. It's just not good. Only way to prevent this is to run like a stabilizer, kind of like uh, Stabil. We used a Marine 360, or no, excuse me, this is just the Marine uh, Stabil that we run here at the shop. But once a carburetor does that, it's hit or miss whether or not it uh, takes a cleaning or not. Uh, you can get this carburetor on Amazon for like $12. It's ridiculous, and they work great. So, we just put new ones on. If you have any questions about ethanol fuel, just wreaking havoc on these small engine carburetors and fuel systems, let me know. More Medic One. Have a great day.